Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2. We completed all the chapters 1 through 5, and especially that last chapter 5 fight it had an absolutely stacked team, an unbelievably strong team, and we beat it barely even using any of our consumables. But it's not over. Remain here if you wish. There is always more that can be learned. That's why. Right. That's right, Wayne. Always more to learn. We still have to finish the hero's backstories. Oh, is this like an extended um, celebration? No, it, I don't know what that was. Why it, it took was so long. It not a perfect world, but it was ours. And we must fight to restore it. Okay. Look at all these unlocks that we have. But let's check. Wisdom will help you choose a path. Resourcefulness will ensure you survive it. Let's do an Inferno Flame. It's time to do some uh, harder battles uh, or harder um, effects. Let's see. The Despairing Flame. Hard mode. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, negative. Relationship chance, minus, uh, plus 10% negative relationship chance, minus 10% positive relationship chance, plus 10% negative quirk. On meltdown, you become weak and vulnerable. And on resolute, you do gain crit. Get a little more candles. Whoa, some of these look real nasty. The corpse light infernal faint, minus 20% max hit points. I'm about to start weak. Well, at least you're a little more resistant to disease. Doom candle. Ooh. These look pretty nasty. My, loathing max minus one, loathing after reset one. So that could like stack pretty badly. The hateful pyre. What? Plus 10% max hit points, but Enemies always have an advantage of some sort. No heal between fighting layer. Eh. It's not so bad, except for the first part. What 25% monster deplo resists? Eh, I don't really think that's that bad. And the ultimate. Oh, of course. The Stygian Blaze. It's everything. <laughs> it's every negative modifier. Wow, and Kando of O plus 33%. This is the real test, right? There is an achievement for getting the same five heroes through each confession bosses. I haven't bothered with the uh, memory mechanic memory yet. Is the that's that warms the mind. That's what that is. I'm not going to bother with this until I've unlocked everybody's story or pro close to that point. These are beaten, but... broken souls, and yet our fortunes ride with them. This is the ultimate test, right? Beating chapters 1 through 5 in order with the Stygian Blaze equipped with the same four heroes. Wow, that would be quite the test. Okay, it's not everything from the... It's not all the previous ones. You don't have the, um, the Loathing Max problem. Like this one, you don't have the ma Loathing Max minus 1, Loathing after Reset 1. So it's some of the nasty effects. You also don't have the not healing the lair. Or the travel heal. So it's some of the negative effects. But that's still... Wow. About the one good thing from this is if you're resolute, you're not afraid. Okay, we're not going to go all the way up to Stygian Blaze. Let's start with the despairing... F Ooh, look at that. There's new help text. Okay, I also didn't read the Radiant Flame stuff, but I don't really care about that. Okay, Inferno Flame. Each Inferno Flame provides a different challenge return for a candle scoring bonus at the end of the expedition. Each Inferno Flame is mounted into the designated flame slot on the stage coat. It must be equipped before leaving the Valley Inn. Okay, yeah, I got it. I understand. Let's just do the first one. Tools of iron. Such implements will serve us well. Let's start some other unlocks. Stew pot. Chance to produce invigorating stew. Okay. A drop of sanity in a sea of madness. Tracker's map. I like this. Creature Den and Oasis Scouting. That's pretty good. 
new instruments will help us diagnose the world's affliction and overcome it. Interesting item, makeshift javelin. Knockback three, add a uh, immobilize. That could be real good. Every twinkling recollection is another implement at our disposal. Songbook of rousing tunes. This actually seems very strong. Plus two speed until the next in. A welcome advancement in the science of survival. Ooh, covert cloak. A flame less than 40, 66% chance of stealth. Brilliant brew. This seems good. Plus two blight duration dealt. Wow, that's really good. Spoken sharply. If same item is equipped, gain on hit, heal four, minus 33% max hit points. This doesn't seem worth it. Heal sc scale based on how much hit points you have, so. Dark impulse plus 33% move resist. Gain when moved by enemy plus one stress. That could be useful. Galvanizing Goblet. Ooh, this is a classic. Um, uh, let's... Oh, is this just objectively good now? In Darkest Dungeon 1, I honestly forgot what that trinket did, but it did something really good and something really, really bad. Uh, but this one, plus one Blight Del, and if hit points greater than 75%, plus 33% Blight Resist, that's just objectively good. Pig sticker. Ain't on crit if flame less than 40 stealth. This is a very interesting grave robber item. Target has um combo plus 10% crit. This is a very interesting item, but let's do a, another stagecoach item. Trinket organizer, okay. I think I'm good there. What else should we unlock? Memory is the heart that warms the mind. Wanna, you know what? I think it's time to unlock all the heroes. I'm not necessarily going to use away. them all right away. A cultist. Flagellant. He is the perfect weapon. A sharpened edge without pity or remorse. Yes. All right, who's going to come on the first hard mode run well we have to bring the grave robber to finish her story a little more light a little more strength um and then need a tank of some sort i guess i can tank i haven't been here for a while yeah let's bring me you bring a healer. I kind of want to try this uh, Vesto, the the path that the Seraph. I haven't tried that yet. It'd be fun. What if I the want splendor of a world? Those who live within it. What if I want to bring one of these other characters? Right, might as well upgrade them a little bit. Okay, I have ten. Spare a thought for tools. Ten gallons left. Such implements will serve us well. Ooh, some good stuff. <gasps> Next pet. Yes. Ride ahead. Nice. Okay. That's all we can do. Sanctuary. As fleeting as a dying star. All right. Study your decline carefully, that you may fully understand its nature. I'm gonna go back to chapter one, denial. You have cowered in your crumbling denial long enough. And do the first inferno torch. Do we get more story? The interminable faculty yes. socials became something of a delight, knowing we'd abscond to a quiet table and lose ourselves in riveting discussion and passionate debate. The crossroads. 
Who will step forward into the light? All right, let's find out. Um, main th thing is we're definitely gonna bring the grave robber. Anemic, it's not great, but avarice slips unseen into the catacombs of the mind. Gotta finish her story. Venom drop. Let's see. Rank flexible row that sacrifices rank damage for blight and mobility. Plus two blight dealt when self stealth. Uh, I don't have enough stealth skills. I have one dead of night, and I'll unlock more. But let's um, let's get let's try dead eye. All right, who else is coming? Neat freak, plague doctor. Now we gotta have a healer. We bring an occultist. But I kind of want a veteran. Ugh, no, 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 not the fragile. Ooh, I know what to do. Indiscriminate science stains the surgeon. We haven't done a surgeon plague doctor. Stab away. That sounds fun. Surgeon also gives more hit points, which is nice. Okay, I think it's time for me to come back, right? Yes. Pride, more devastating than the horrors of a hundred campaigns. Although a leper would be incredible as well. Kind of want to do the Jester's story. Quick draw, interesting. Virtuoso Jester is just good. What are the other quirks? Eh. No, but I, I need another, like, a newer character who can gain some, um... I could bring a Runaway. We haven't played with Runaway. Mm, but it's a little awkward right now. I think I need more unlocks. Whereas the jester is basically always good. A murderous melody lingers long after the final chord has been struck. All of these skills are good. Question is, what path am I gonna be? I do like the Vanguard path, it's so much damage. But ball work is fun, and Sergeant's always hilarious. Like, listen up, you lot. Uh, it's gotta be a virtuoso jester. Maybe I should just be a wanderer, get like the plus one candle because I can't decide. I'm pretty sure Vanguard is just like objectively the best. The minus 20% of all those uh, resists is not a big deal. Those are some very solid upgrades. This is chapter one. There is no uh, exemplar. You like the ball work. Like the strategic retreat uh, rampart combo is a lot of fun. But I think it's hard to beat Vanguard. Nah. I think I would have too much fun with the strategic retreat nonsense. I think our grave robber can uh can do other work here. All right, make sure all the paths are correct. All right. I am, of course, back to lead this lot. And I am a bulwark, so... Should have the strategic retreat nonsense equipped. A little stand fast retribution action there. 
I can only hit the front two ranks. That's slightly concerning, but uh, our Jester Matt, our Plague Doctor Tech Fiend, and our Grave Robber uh, Van Thorn should be able to do good work there. We have very limited rank uh, four damage, but I do want to try out this Surgeon uh, Plague Doctor, and this is chapter one, so it shouldn't be that hard. I like the Surgeon buffs, it's just that minus 33% Blight Piercing is a problem. We can find some trinkets to make up for it, you know. It's just Plague Grenade is so good against so many enemies and bosses. Alright, well, let's get going. The road is yours to travel. Okay. You are not alone. Organizing Goblet here, Brilliant Brew, seems like a good combo. Move Resist, sure, I'll have some Move Resist. I'm not going to lower my own hit points. That seems crazy. Over, I mean, I'm not going to use those other items, but... I only got one combat item. Make sure it's Javelin, sure. Whit more harshly on the far side of the brook. The bulwark of your denial is giving way. Oh, four enemies. Interesting. I don't hate a fade of black. Get that a uh, blind going. Dissection. An unavoidable end. Good miss. On to the next. I'm gonna kill the one that could uh disease me. Out of night, not gonna do enough. These things have 40% blight resist. Let's Throne Dagger. Let's do a Razor's Wit. Set up a combo. 70% crit. I love it. A righteous action. Hmm. Incision. Didn't do it. Five to nine. You never know. It could kill. Nope. Oh, but it got uh, pushed back. So that daze actually did work there. Poison dart for the kill up front. Incision. Yes. Oh, I completely forgot chapter one is the five mastery points. That's great. Push on to the inn. Rest and resupply await you. I wish if you have the Inferno Flame, Chapter 1 changes become four regions, just like all the others, but... The familiar eh. hearth crackles invitingly once again. All right, before we forget... Oh, you got a biding for an Precious flame. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. What pet do I want? Maybe just a wolf cub. The next stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. All right, got our despairing flame equipped. Let's equip Hold our other items. The, the mountain will not be denied. We have a luxury gear equipped. So what are our choices for a pet? I could get the pygmy pill skin again, which uh, if we have medical cure, that's good. You can get a the slime again, maybe, and a or, or orphan wolf cub. What else can we get here? I have the griddle to make flapjack. That's pretty good. I don't have the uh, the food pet, the rabbit. But Griddles to make Flapjack, honestly. 
I just make the most sense here. What are our choices? Everywhere in ruin. Everywhere in need. Uh, clear out the lair. I mean, we can definitely clear out the lair. Not afraid of that puny uh, librarian. Except for the fact that Tech Fiend's not going to be as effective as usual. Repasso not going to be as good as usual. Can we buy ablative powders? Uh, how do I um? How do I get through the dodges? Is the greatest teacher of all. That's what I'm worried about. Great of black is probably just gotta upgrade that. Retribution probably just gotta upgrade that. Okay, well, no matter what, I think I buy this songbook, uh, songbook of touching dirges. And I don't have any sources of food, right? Okay, never mind, I lied. The first thing we're gonna do is buy all the food we need. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. Then we'll buy the songbook of touching dirges. All right, one negative pip. So we need to try to cure that. Um, yeah, 33% negative. Ooh, everybody has a 5% negative chance. Two whiskeys could be the way to go. If I can get Tech Fiend and Van Thorn to like each other. And of the items, I honestly think the griddle to produce flapjacks is the way to go. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. What am I doing? A stew pot. We have that. Um, good thing I checked, right? So we definitely don't need that. Medical equipment is just a solid... Plus 20% healing in between battles is not bad. Or I could buy a heat shield and a protectorate. Protectorate is actually not that good. Heat shield makes sense. Because um, a lot of my damage comes from just a basic stab. Don't need the noxious blast. Well, let's, um, let's do the obvious things first. Tech Fiend and Matt, why don't you drink some whiskey? Fix your relationship. Um, in terms of food, I'm going to feed the slime mode to Tech Fiend since Tech Fiend has the best disease resist. Soothing Paltis. Um, trying to decide which region to go to. I do quite like the um, sprawl. All great cities burn. All that beauty and knowledge. Ash on the wind. We'll prepare to fight the boss. The general. It's a little harder with the Surgeon Plague Doctor. Still beat it. But uh, I'd rather have a little more damage. What else can we bring? 
I actually don't think I need ablative powders. I need, um, I'm gonna bring this Icker Bomb, I think. Meditative Totem to remove negative quirk is nice, but I want to make sure we win. We'll bring two glimmers. And of the choices here, I really think the Orphan Cub is just the best. Because we don't have any like medical equipment, so its value really goes down. I could buy this medical equipment stagecoach item, but um, I don't think you need it. Plus, we haven't played with the orphan wolf cubbing a little bit. There we go. Oh, a little bark from the wolf cub. Okay. Songbook of rousing tunes. Do we need that? It's pretty good in the final region. I'm not convinced I need it here. And Thorn and Tech Fiend, why don't you two drink? That should give you... It's only a 13% chance. Ooh, these relationships, not so easy to get anymore. Okay, got Glimmers. Uh, Van Thorn, you're going to equip the Icar Bomb. Javelins. Go here. 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 Something like that. Okay. Mastery training. Um, if we're going to fight the boss... I need retribution. I need fade of black. I need the blight darts, poison darts. I'm actually gonna upgrade play grenade of all crazy things and incision. Although indiscriminate science heal, very powerful. The boss does do blind and stuff. Let's try to find some blight piercing for Tech Fiend. That would be ideal. Heat shield. Question is, do I want like this minor heart seeker? It just doesn't seem good enough. I think we buy the protectorate. A little extra, mm, or save the. I, I just don't think that 15% heal is going to do enough. All right. Got some other sources of heal, right? The Absinthe. We got two heal skills equipped. Eh, we'll be fine. All right. Let's get going. Oh, so beautiful. Layer right away. Of man. Ruined. I don't. And a flame. I don't prioritize that layer over hero shrines, but I do see a hero shrine here on the left. Hey, I could also try to just hit more question marks like this middle one, but I'm also feeling surprisingly good about fighting the layer boss. We got more damage than it might seem. Not gonna need strategic retreat, but I do want Bellow. Oh, don't forget about the shuffle. Okay, when it shuffles, what's gonna happen? Leg Doctor is gonna be in the back, which is fine. Rave Robber is going to be in the front, which is problematic. Then Jester. I don't actually think I need Stamfast. I'm going to take Hold a Line. Well, Rampart can get me up.
command is actually kind of interesting. Remove blind. We know there's blind. Fellow, not so useful. Sam fast mostly for the taunts. Something like this. Kind of weird, but let's try it. I don't think I came here to not fight this boss. The loathing whispers. Who knows? Maybe it'll wipe real fast. It's also good. it the remains of philosophy reason and insight that fiend stabs what does the whipper do again analysis is the natural Balls. prelude to action need to get this one get that shaman of the poison dart nice Ah, oh, don't have Bello. Oh well. Okay, I'll take that. Early results are encouraging. Resisted all that nonsense. Thinking we need a retribution. Do a Razor's Wit. Move again. Excellent. Poison darts. All right. Good. Co good affinity. The smallest variable can make all the difference. I can command myself, but let's just try to get rid of these. This corpse. This is why I equipped a play grenade, by the way, for stuff like this. Mm, I don't really see why I should get in it, get hit by that repose. I want a character with a block token to get that. Yeah, good resist. Ooh, two repos now. Annoying. Beta black. The slow suffering begins. Ah, uh, but I value trying to kill it. Ugh. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. Alright, it's dead. That wasn't so bad. Good. Get the two weaker enemies first. Get that shaman. The fiend's strength dwindles. Resisted. Okay, I'm gonna do a command, but I think I'd rather retribution. Get the taunts going. Black, get that combo going. Nice blight. Blaze, measured and steady. Nice incision. Hmm, don't we don't kill it yet, but that's okay. 
the big end at least will be uh, on death's door. He should be doing less damage. Ah, all we can do is incision. This is where the frontline surgeon plague doctors build a little weaker. All right, it's time for the real battle, the librarian. I'm gonna do it. Maybe we'll wipe. I saw uh, the uh, the sp the trinket that gives you crit when you have good speed. I forgot the name. His ladder, reveling in the fiery destruction of human accomplishment. I mean, battle bell is the only way to go here. Uh, Ecker bomb. Nice, 30 damage from that one Icker bomb. Oh, resisted that other blight. That is unfortunate. 63% blight resist, but you know what? Might as well ounce of prevention. Is the key. Don't think we need the crow's feet yet. I'm going to use that to try to clear dodges. Fine. Cabal Ballad again. Part of it is just I don't have a better move. All right, now I I have only the one move, the play grenade. Hey, it still landed a blight. I'll take it. This is a lot of blight. This, uh, this boss is not having a good time. Let's put it that way. Good resist. Use the crow's feet to get rid of that uh, dodge plus. Stand fast doesn't immobilize, so might as well stand fast. Boss is almost dead already. Sure, made of black. We resisted that. My God, this boss too weak. Oh, now it does the categorize. Yeah. Oh, it did it in a very unfortunate way. Um, all right, well, we'll just move manually back. It's not a big deal. I mean, just play grenade some more. Why? Resisted it, but it's at 13 health, so it doesn't matter. All right, resisted. Beta black. Legitimately don't even know what to do. Command. Bolster. No, oh, I mean we didn't blight it, but it's on death's door. Okay. It's missing. That, uh, Icker Bomb was, uh, so clutch. All right, play grenade, clear the dodge. Oh, I'm blind. Beta Black, Razor's Wit. Slice off. Beta Black, sure. I mean, pretty easy. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. Some good items. Okay, snappy swig. Does anybody have speed greater than eight? Not right now. But you never know. We could get speed greater than eight. 
mortar and pestle. That could be handy. Burn salves. Let's equip that. Okay, well, now I want to maximize our chances for hero shrines. We have to go right, since we know there's the one hero shrine there. Um, so that's pretty easy. Please be a loathing? Nope, there's nothing on this road. Alright, that's you fine. Will fight so that others may flee. Just double check our skills. Don't need command anymore. Let's take a bellow. Doesn't seem like we need sand fast. I do love the strategic withdrawal combo. You know what? Maybe we do command. There are lots of blinds. Uh, sure. This is fine. This is all fine. Definitely fighting this. My relationship with uh, Matt can suffer a little bit. I'm spoiling for some blood sport. That's right. Whoa! Oh, I got the quick draw right. Wow, I can just delete that thing that's pretty good at turn one i think this thing's ignited now right analysis is the natural Crow's feet here sure get rid of that dodge slowing them down is also good um i want to kill this lasso before it has a chance to disease us there we go Poison dart to back. Seems like a good turn for a inspiring tunes heal. And keep poisoning. Get into the reposture. Oh, it's just dead. Yeah, there's nothing it can do. It's just dead. Um, Bolster is not going to do anything. None of this stuff is going to do anything. Empowered, emboldened. Why hit into it? You know. Actually. I could 10% crit and stress heal. Another impediment. Nope. Cleared with impunity. Oh, we got the protectorate. Pairing Patriarch. Now we're talking. That is an insane item on Van Thorn. I kind of want to try to repartee taunt just because of that. Uh, you know what? This is... Like that, right? Galvanizing Goblet? Eh. I mean, we're never gonna use these other items, so... Protectorate? Sure. Okay, gotta go right, because that's the only way to get to the Hero Shrine that we know about. What are our Hero goals? I, I always forget to check that. Use Bear Trap. Pustule Cells, Visit Academic Study, Land Killing Blow on Cosmic Beings. Matt's Hero Go might Stumbling actually be doable. Grasping. Shadows of what they once were. Alright. There's a heavy backline damage. Hmm. What is six? 70% crit. Poison darts. Well, we can at least cure that. 
Fell the tree? Oh, disease, cholera. Minus 50% healing received from skills and round start days. That's nasty. Should try to get that cured if at all possible. Our razor's wit. Hmm, bolster is not bad here, honestly, but Rampart's also pretty good. Ooh, that horror. Gonna have to do some bolstering nonsense. confers advantage okay we resisted that that's good let's um bolster that stress down because it's gonna go up again yep that's fine The unrelenting application of violence yields morbid gains. Uh, snappy swig and the uh, smoldering hymnal doing work for us. In this world, wealth is worthless without purpose. Hopefully, you can find a hospital. Get rid of that cholera. That is actually nasty. the knowledge taken by the fires of these fanatics yes matt m quick draw ready i'm always ready get that speed buff so everything procs and you're gonna do insane damage in crisis we can rely only upon yep one shot kill that uh enemy that does all the buffs Should focus this fanatic in the back. Make sure nothing bad goes happens. Ooh, yeah, yeah. What if it resists, right? All sorts of nasty effects. A taunt. Slice off is pretty good here. Hmm, didn't apply the bleed, and we got all these dazes messing us up. This is a knockback one, so that's okay. Bad things happen if this fanatic gets to the front. We gotta watch out. There we go. They're all dead. Um, I can't stress you anyone, so might as well 15% crit. Oh, smoldering him though. I killed, so I got to go again. Nice. An elementary problem, is it not? So, let's see. We're going to go to Hero Shrine, then the question mark, and probably left for the candle. So, we'll be able to use our uh, glimmers if this is not an assistance encounter. No problem. Okay. Don't need Look to use our glimmers way. just yet. There is a barricade ahead.
Hmm, this is a pretty nasty comp. For once, we didn't land a turn one kill. So I'm gonna go for the pillager in the very, very back. That one's the most dangerous. Yep, it'll do this shell shock move. Stress, weaken, all sorts of bad stuff. Retribution, make sure we got some defenses. Really should have gone Vanguard, right? Eh. Whatever. Once I get more mastery points, I'll upgrade some other stuff. Create a six. Or do we fade a black? Nice crit. All right, the back one's dead. Early results are encouraging. But look at it, how fun Rampart is. Well done. Nice incision. Razor's Wit actually was in a kill? Really? Oh, uh, I could heal a little bit. Oh, I come... Why did I think that thing had a DOT? That was not my intention. Alright, we're just gonna kill it. of human learning and achievement ruined by riotous contempt oh we got a invigorating stew invigorating stew in item one of four food party plus 20 percent max hit point plus one speed and plus 10 percent disease and stun resist that seems real good All right, let's continue the Grey Robber story. I cannot say I recommend impulsive murder. Always make a plan, love. She's a classy lady, you know. Chapter three, embarrassment of riches. You can't just randomly murder things. You have to plan it out perfectly. Years of decadence and financial mismanagement had left the estate in staggering debt. Humiliated and facing eviction, she wandered the empty halls, hurling inebriated indignities at the portrait of the deceased, whose hand had rested so possessively upon her shoulder. A gleam of gold on that painted paw reminded her that his rings were unaccounted for, and must have been buried with him. Of course. Lunge! Oh, now we're talking. That looks like fun. Unfortunately, I'm a Deadeye who is very good at range attacks, but not so good at melee attacks. I might have this equipped over the drone dagger just for the mobility. You never know. Sometimes you just need to move. Oh, hospital. Fantastic. And get rid of the nasty, nasty cholera. Yo, hospital? Okay. Let's see. First, let's get rid of cholera. We can suffer no sickness on this pilgrimage. I don't like that anemic. Get rid of that. 
And this low handed I'm also going to get rid of because of the trinkets I have. I think I'll save the rest of our money. What else does she have? Hi, Urgens mixing kit, eh. Cleansing sensor, eh. Restorative herbs now. These are good in the final battle. Oh, but look at our relics. They're so low. Good as a lot of these items would be. Um, I would rather have our relationships buffed. Save our uh, relics for in items. Man, we could come across a hoarder with better stuff. This is not worth buying, especially when my trinket situation is questionable. But this was still a really good field hospital. All right, let's go left. Pray this is another hero shrine. Nope, assistance encounter. But that will buff our flame. So there's no reason to use the glimmers here. What should I delete? Probably one of these lost souls since they disease. I'm actually gonna hit this urchin. Ah, oh, if only I landed the blight, it would have been guaranteed dead. Decision and then a rampart to kill. No diseases for them. That's fine. Little gruesome reflection in the back. I'm gonna take a big hit here, but confers advantage. Too much can be done. I mean, I can't bypass the stealth. So we're gonna head up night mostly because I don't have anything better to do. In crisis, we I'm can gonna taunt this crit. Upon each other. Since I can bolster that away. Or I could just resist. How am I resisting all this? Stress. I have no earthly. Oh, is it the aesthetic? No, I don't think so. Oof, lunge is only two to three damage. A petty hindrance. Amidst the spoils, an artifact of unparalleled power. Artifact of unparalleled power is right. Price of Pride. Gain when hit. 33% chance of a block plus. Oh, and Bellow, of course, could stun enemies because that's how strong screaming at things is. The old man yelling. This trinket looks absurd. I can make myself unkillable with Stand Fast and Retribution. Literally nothing could kill me. In fact, I might have like too much defenses. That's how good that is. Wow. I don't think I need a heat shield anymore, but I don't need the other trinkets either, so. Facing oblivion, these folk have kept their honor. Yeah, I don't need scouting. Getting a stagecoach item for 12 relics, that's a pretty good deal. Could be a good item. The Wayne Wright awaits, eager to ply I mean, his dream. Luxury that stacks with. <gasps> I know why we're resisting our pet! I completely forgot about our pet! Plus 5% um, stress resist per luxury gear item equipped. I wonder, are, um, are there other luxury gear items like like these glimmers and stuff? Not uh, the combat items? Do any of those count? What about uh, trinkets? None of them save luxury on them. 
So I'm guessing I've just been rolling 5% stress resist this entire time. That's pretty absurd. Whoa, what was that? That unfortunate animation. All right. We know there is an altar, which is a problem. I mean, none of these other items are going to do anything here, so. Let's make shift. Get rid of that dodge. That's what I was hoping for. But you know what? Fade of black on the cherub. Ah, didn't work. Okay. Altar is still priority number one. The fiend's strength dwindles. Blood bond. That hurts. Got a wretched uh, command for some killing. Seems pretty good. Oh, this one's stealthed. All right, all right. I think I need to get up. Still gotta work on that altar. Hmm. Nasty stuff. Play grenade and pray for luck? Nope. Alright, I'm gonna take some pretty big damage up here. That's okay. Agony. Uh, maybe not. It's the stress more than anything else that's a problem. And apply it judiciously. I'm a little worried. I'm the most worried about my stress. Yeah, took that altar. Yeah, it's gonna do that. Face your confession. I don't like that, but it is what it is. I don't think we're gonna heal this turn just yet. Good. Nice big incision damage. Five to nine. Okay, knocking it back will work. Really wanna do a stress heal. Also, this cherub in this position is fine, although, eh. Got a crit. I think we got a... Got a stress heal, actually. Flashing daggers would actually be useful here. All right, got one down, got one down. Command so we can set up for a heal next turn, but I could just razor his wit for that heal, which seems better. Bellow does it not clear crits right now. A retribution, mostly because I'm not quite sure what else to do.
57 heal. You know what? Who needs block tokens when you can heal for 57 damage? And get the price of pride to up your defenses. Combo now. Let's get that cherub. Nice. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Thinking I might need stand fast. That thing is dead. Can bolster. Just a sneaking a little more stress healing. Indiscriminate science. It's not a big heal, but it's something. Small foundation of trust. Inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. Don't think we need any of these items. The loathing abates. We'll say this dark impulse, the plus twenty percent debuff resists, uh, minus ten percent damage per negative token. That's actually pretty interesting. your gaze it is safe here oh i'm nervous it's no good we cured the cholera oh bounty hunter you like the bounty hunter the stumbling corpse verse gone plus 20 percent damage that does not seem the necessary of mastery we have only one everywhere route right in ruin everywhere in need. All right. I mean, I might fight the final boss. Or no, the, the layer boss is what I mean. We're definitely fighting the final boss. Uh, Crow's Nest is not going to be useful. A Sage Gear is not going to be useful. Meditative Totem. But I don't think... Uh, I mean, getting rid of Nervous would be nice, but... Spend what you can. Or wealth no longer has meaning. kind of want to try to buff Indeed everyone. It ever did. What's your uh, speed, Matt? Okay, it is base 8 now, so the snappy swig is always going to proc. That's very good. Carrying Patriarch basically makes Absinthe, like, perfect. I mean... Like a weird repartee build is actually possible. Each improvement, a new variable in the equation of your fate. Might even buy this hail draw just for the hit points. Plotting curve. We just have so many baubles. I might even buy the Assay gear. Plus four, but it's only good for one region. I might get like, I don't know, 40 relics out of it. We're just basically converting Balbos to relics. I don't know, that's still a pretty good deal, right? Like these other trinkets, let's be real. They're not gonna, not gonna do anything, but the Assay gear might actually do something. Okay, well, I will have to figure all of this out in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Until next time.